No, it's not curling up. I knew you were gonna do something as soon as I hit the goddamn record <laughs> button. Son of a Well, today's the day. I'm gonna go see Panic at the Disco. I'm tired. It's 12.51. The concert is an hour and a half away in Raleigh. And it starts at 7. Oh, I'm so excited. Alright, so we are about to be on the way to the Panic at the Disco concert. It is currently 3.06. And it takes an hour and a half to get there, so we'll get there about 4.30. That's when the gates are supposed to open. We're going to grab us something to eat in a second. Hopefully Chick-fil-A. That's kind of what I've been in the mood for. I'm waiting for her to get in the car, and then we'll be on our way. I'll keep updating. And yeah. Alright, well, we're in Raleigh now. And we're about 6.1 miles out. I'm starting to freak out. We know where Bebo is. We're gonna go to the merch table. I'm gonna grab a shirt and a bracelet and hopefully get closer seats maybe with Bebo. But I've been told that the lines for Bebo is very, very, very long, but it'll be worth it if we get the seats. We'll check back in later. So we are in the parking lot right now and it's starting to set in. I'm shaking. I'm even worse than I was. <laughs> oh my Jesus. I just hope it doesn't start pouring. That's all I ask.
friends we had here. Um, and it was the, the hardest thing I've ever had to do, the most challenging, but ultimately the most rewarding. And a lot of that had to do with the person who wrote the music for that show. Her name is Cindy Lockwood, okay? <laughs> yeah. For you younger ones, if they're not aware of who Cindy Lockwood is, hopefully you guys know this song. She's an immense talent. And I just want to have fun. You know what I mean? <laughs>
our voices. <laughs> I don't know how I'm speaking right now, honestly. But it was amazing. It, it was, was so, so amazing. Oh my goodness. That's how busy it is. And we are currently in a merch line. <laughs> well, I had a bunch of videos that were supposed to be in this little clip right here. This is currently days after. This is the 31st. I was editing my video. To save the video to my phone, I needed to delete some storage off of my phone. So I figured the videos that I had on the video now, I could delete. Guess not. In my videos, I was talking about how there were people dressed up in different costumes, like the nun from the Pray for the Wicked tour, and the demon from Emperor's New Clothes, and the ringleader costume from I Write Sins, Not Tragedies. And I also talked about how I blubbered like a bitch when Brendan went up on the piano because he was talking about how his mom sang him the song every night and that he sang for us and all that good stuff. And I also talked about how Brendan, you know, truly loves and cares about his fans. And, you know, he was doing the Death of the Bachelor walk and he would go and shake people's hands and hug them and... You know, asked them how they were doing all while he was singing Death of the Bachelor, which was pretty cool. So yeah, that was the gist of what was supposed to be in this little clip. It was a good five minutes of videos, so I'm a little bit pissed. Oh well, I guess. Anyways, back to the original video. Well, it is currently... 4.08 in the morning on Sunday, the 29th. I'm tired. My ears are ringing. And my knees still hurt. And I have to work tomorrow at 2. And I have to stand on my feet all day in the gas station. But hey, I don't have to deal with anything inside. But today was a blast. Looking back at it, when I was on my way home, I was listening to the songs. I was looking at pictures and I'm like wow I just saw this guy live a few hours ago it's just mind-blowing I've never been to a concert like that before I can't wait until we get to go again but anyways YouTube peeps even though I have barely any also make sure to like and subscribe you guys have a great night great day whatever it is and I'll catch you guys next time.